All right, everyone. I was having this issue with my Vendo 720. So if you see that rotating, uh, this little thing here, which is is where the cans, this thing rotates through the mortar here, and essentially what it does, it it loads up the next set of cans to be brought down from the bottom here, and. I was having an issue with my machine that I have on site that the cans kept on getting stuck right there and it would cause my machine to to not load anymore and essentially not work so I was trying to figure out what was causing that issue and you know I'm new to this so I'm learning as I'm going making mistakes and I'm sure people are also trying to figure out issues as they come along and they encounter them but you know this is something that was you know it's a rookie mistake obviously but um i'm sure a lot of people that are in my position are encountering well these vandal 720s require shims and if you've never seen a shim well a shim looks just like this it's a piece of metal that connects and and what it does it narrows the gap so that way only one soda comes in at a time. Uh, what I was doing is that since I didn't have the shim, um, it would cause an issue where it would jam. So this is how you add one of these to keep that from happening. You see that little hole in the back there? Well, this thing has a little piece where it sticks out and this little, this little piece here goes into that slot. So essentially it goes in like this. It comes back around and it has a little slot right over here and you'll see it in a second where once I get it going this will fall in place with that slot. Here it comes. And now this comes through here and once you have it located in that slot and it's secured to keep it from moving you get one of these pins that go through here connects or sorry put it through here and it connects and what, what you don't do is you don't drop it but connect it through here and it connects through and it locks in place and that keeps the shim from moving around and keeping it steady in the position that it's supposed to be so with that being said if you're having issues with cans getting stuck in your slot and causing this more to kind of go back and forth back and forth and eventually give you an error that's either out of stock or not working this is the issue here it's the shims so if you don't have a shim in the 12 ounce can uh, selection if you have 12 ounces obviously if you have 20 ounces you can use these shims because it will be too narrow for the 20 ounce to go through causing problems where it will just get stuck in that position and it won't feed all the way down so for those of you that's had those issues or continue or like can't figure it out i couldn't figure out for the death for the life of me until I went back and I looked at this machine that I had sitting in my garage that needed some work. And I noticed that this shim was in place and that I didn't have my other machine. So with that being said, I'm gonna use this shim to replace the other one. And, and so that way we don't run into that issue. So just wanted to show that to you guys. Um, and as I encounter problems, I'll keep on posting them and hopefully uh, I'll help somebody out. Because I know I was looking all over the internet, all over YouTube, trying to find how to install shims for a Vendo 720. And I could not find it. So, uh, so I thought I'd make this video. Alright guys, take care. Happy vending.